What's up, everybody? This is Ray, Big Country, No Fucking Voice, Cody, along with the beautiful disaster the same goddamn way. Why? Because we lost him screaming at the Arnolds this weekend. Yeah. Um, we got Big Chris over here off to the right. He's doing something a little extra special for y'all to keep you entertained and laughing. So, Autumn and I are going to start off the show. So, some of you guys may know, Country Crush and MSM, MSTV were there, What's booth 1060. Um, you also may know that I sponsored the Arnold Classic. With that, I'm going to start off with showing this. This is the appreciation plaque that all the sponsors and the hotel got for all their assistance and uh making sure the event was awesome. So a big thank you to USAA Arm Wrestling, Denise Waddles and Leonard Harkless. Thank you guys. What's up, David Thornton? So 2019 Arnold Classic is in the books. We had an amazing fucking time a lot of fun. <laughs> overall. Uh, a little disappointed mm. in the competition side. That's a whole nother show for me yeah. and Autumn to discuss <laughs> on another. It was rough. It, it, it sucked. Yeah. The event didn't suck. Her not doing well sucked. Um, but again, we'll talk about that when... Uh, Autumn and I can uh, do another little show. Uh, other than that, the booth was fucking slamming. Um, Eric Turpin. What's up, Ike Ford? Eric Turpin. Hey. Um, the booth was awesome. The booth was packed. Okay, we had people doing the Country Crush Deadlift Challenges. We introduced the Colossal Crush Series with the four-inch and the two and a half by four inch blocks. And all I can say is, he blew up. holy shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anybody who doubted Storm Cholino's strength, and anybody who can see this, actually, I'm going to invite some people here real quick. Let's get some people on here. There we go. Right there. That's the main person I wanted to invite. Let's get he some more people. He completely killed it. Killed it isn't the word, right? I mean, so pretty much all day long, nobody can even pick up 254 pounds with the four inch um, colossal crush uh, circular grips. Uh, then we see this uh, Christian power team type powerlifting team and we challenged them. This okay. We our daughter just walked in, so we challenged them to come over and try the country, the colossal crush. What? Um, <laughs> not only did they accept the challenge, but we added uh, three more plates to the to the load pen. Um, come on, mama. Uh oh, -uh. to the load pen. Um. Anyways, it came out to like three hundred and sixty-two or three hundred sixty-three pounds. Had everyone. Something like that. Yeah. No. Nobody on this power team was able to break ground with this weight legally. There's my daughter throwing the temper tantrum. I guess she didn't like the idea of the colossal crush being debuted. Becoming quite the diva. Okay. So, anyways, um, so then all these guys try it and they can't do it. And then around the corner comes Storm Cholino, walks up to this thing, okay, picks it up like it was nothing. You gotta go out. Sorry. She knocks the banner down and gets burned. That'll be bad. She's got to go out. Sorry, honey. 
So anyways, Autumn will be back once our child decides to take a nap. Um, so anyway, Storm Cholino comes in. So let me tell you the difference between Storm Cholino and these freaking powerlifting guys, okay? Storm Cholino is like 210 pounds. Okay, and he's an arm wrestler. He's very well known. And these powerlifting guys are like 300 plus pounds, and that's what they do. They pick up heavy shit. Right. So anyways... Storm comes out, country crash, number one handles in the USA. Thanks, Greg. Um, Storm comes out, picks it up. He doesn't just pick it up. He holds it and looks at me, and he did it with thumbs up. So not only did he do that, he was also one of only two or three people who could pick the weight that we had loaded on the uh, two-and-a-half-by-four pinch blocks. Um you know, again, like I said, we had we just had an amazing time. You know, the uh, Raging Rebel Ray Mosley was there working the booth, loading plates, unloading plates. Uh, Robert Buzo was there. He was helping, assisting, letting people know how easy it was. Autumn Cody was there. She was getting it done as well. She was, That's why our voices are gone, man. Autumn was out there slinging handles, selling Silva's grip, selling – USA shirts with Christine. It was just awesome. There's so much to talk about about it. That's a badass. Savage. Yes, it is. Hey, right here, guys. Savage Athletics, Joshua Garcia, Coach Mike. I can actually fit it now, Josh. <laughs> actually, it's big on me. Um. Anyways. Just an amazing time. We got a lot of exposure through Country Crush. Oh, the beautiful disaster's back. Yes? Awesome. Come on. Come on, get up there. Um, so anyways, <laughs> everybody's giving you a heart, see? What's up, David Thornton? So, anyways, um, Autumn showed a couple of guys that uh, just because you got big biceps doesn't mean you have strong grip. Um, we were also able to raise six hundred and seventy-eight dollars um, to help send Autumn to Russia. We did this through. If you donated two dollars to her trip and you broke ground. We either gave you a shirt, we gave you chalk, uh, a gripper. Um, we were giving yes, out yes, stuff. Yeah. You know, we brought five dozen shirts with us. None of them came back. Um, none of our none of our giveaways came back, huh? No. None. We got rid of everything. All the sample charge of chalk are gone. You know, yeah. what's that? That's the other thing that made that trip great. Greg is did the strong man like the Candy Crush handles? As well as well besides the arm wrestlers. Yes, they did. Um that was <laughs> they they said I should call I should call it the Devil Slayer because they were um a Christian strongman, like a power team group. Um they they said they were very impressed with it and they liked it. Um I haven't uh we had a lot of people come up, was was very impressed with the whole thing. Uh was very impressed by this young lady. You know, not only was she competing, and but she was also demonstrating the handle. You know, like mm -hmm. uh, what on the Colossus Crush, she picked up three plates, right? Yeah, three plates, and then two hundred and fifty-four mm -hmm. pounds on the two-inch Country Crush. Yep, two hundred fifty-four pounds. Ray Mosley was there. Robert Buzo was there. Ask him. We I even I am with a lot of guys. Oh, we even got people. Leonard Harkless. To get his hands and try the country crush deadlift, he, he gave did. it. He, he did. did. He, he gave did. it. A, he gave it a hell of a he valiant did. effort. Mm -hmm. um, thank you to everybody who came by the booth, who purchased the handle, who mm -hmm. you know supported me, supported donated. her, donated. Storm Cholino, brother. Again, not only is he a massive beast on the table, he's got massive strength and massive heartness. He was the biggest donator. He just, you know, he just 20 dollars, $20, boom. 
lock it out, get a handle. Twenty dollars, lock it out, get a handle. He, I think I have to send him like five handles. Um, but hey, I don't mind. It was worth every uh, every effort. Um, a lot of, a lot of people. As far as the event that she competed in, um, we'll touch base. You know, disappointing. We had a we had a really good first day, right? Really good first day. She hit a PR. She hit a PR. Um, she was just a pound, a little bit over a pound away from breaking a hundred pounds on the Rolling Thunder. Um, no, Randy, uh, Randy didn't come by the booth, David. What's up, Ardo Um, So, the rolling, you know, we had a really good day on the Rolling Thunder. Um, I seen her lift five plates on several occasions. Um, second day was the axle. We didn't quite understand the rules. No. Um, so our fault. We should have paid more attention. So, um, basically. And the implements were new. So I wasn't prepared for that, fresh out of the bag, never been touched. And they also do something different that, to be fair, I've only been doing this for seven months. Um, wiped off the implements, but it was good. I had a lot of fun. I liked the way it was ran. Um, I enjoyed meeting you know, all the people, the different uh, you know, countries that were represented was also cool. And we got to meet Ardo. For the first time which was an honor you want to talk about a strong powerful man and his wife um Murphy 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 yeah I'm saying it right um very very nice couple um very strong um thank you Joshua Garcia it was fun overall um yeah you know so like I said we didn't understand the rules and we thought that when they said you had 30 seconds to complete the lift if you attempted once and didn't get it you can continue again until you um until you, you know until the 30 seconds was up however it was not so which we didn't understand so autumn attempted and she didn't like a grip so she readjusted and as soon as she took her hands off the bar it was a no lift so she um she was uh uh she bombed out basically out of that and then we decided on sun saturday night to go out and get bombed so and ardo was very awesome because he was exactly doing that telling all the competitors do something yes so they get on the stage yelling nice and loud so that was also positive and uplifting for everybody lifting um a lot of fun amazing time but no on a serious note autumn didn't compete on sunday because she sustained an injury to her arm lifting on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So her, you know, the last event was the silver bullet and that happens to be the hand that she squeezes with. So we, uh, we figured that it would be better to bow out because we had yep. worlds that she has to train for. Yes, Arto, definitely, yes, sir. sir. I have to go out and wait. Yeah, we're gonna go out and meet you guys. So yeah, so overall, what would you say? Arnold was great. Two thumbs up. I love it. It was a great experience. Thank you, Clay. Um, thank you, Ricardo. Thank you, Ode. Thank you, Ray. Um, thank you, Ray. <laughs> I'm not sure, you know, who to thank for the for the invite, but thank you for letting me experience that. Thank you for letting me um, compete. It was an honor because I know we're handpicked and hand selected, and you can't just show up and throw some money in and say I'm lifting today um so thank you guys I hope I did you know okay for my first time um can't wait to see Russia and of course I gotta thank mm -hmm. my boy Joe Patero yep Crystal Anthony Carrie Rapp everybody who came but most of all my boy Ray Mosley this man busted his ass thank you for all the okay. plate loading thank you no. for everything hold on hold on I didn't know if we were, Robert Booza, thank you. I didn't know if we were going to be able to do the challenge. Ray Mosley brings four plates with him, buys a cart, puts it in, 
pulls this son of a bitch in cart with all his stuff a mile up a freaking road. Brings hill. all his handles. Brings Listen all his one. handles, brings the load pin, so I didn't have to spend so much money. And his chrome handle. <laughs> and his chrome handle. Um, and then, you know, we got to thank uh, Robert Buzo, who, again, over and over until his hands is going to do no more, you know, oh, for oh, demonstrating. Uh, uh, Bench Daddy, you know, Mike, thank you for letting us borrow the plates when we needed to go up. Uh, Green Power 420 Strong, we're getting there. If I can't ever go to sleep. <laughs> Way to go, Autumn. You lifted everybody sitting in the couch. <laughs> Good to finally meet you and look forward to – hell yeah, Chris, man. What an honor to meet you. If anybody doesn't know Chris, Chris uh, is a former Super League beast. Follow him here on Facebook and Instagram. Um, again, just not enough thanks to everybody, but uh, I think we need to get uh, my boy Chris over here involved in this, and uh, he's over here. and. Patiently waiting to make you laugh. No. We are. Okay, good. So, as everybody knows. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I can't back up anymore. No. Well, you got to come towards me. Come towards me. All right. So, as everybody knows, um, we have no idea what the fuck we're doing. As you can tell by the fact that we can't seem to agree on Thank you, David. Towards me means, I guess towards me means towards more into a block position versus over towards the wall where you can be seen. I see. Yes, I'm a smart ass. There you go. Imagine that. Uh, <laughs> so the last show we did before we uh, went to the Arnold is we said we we're going to review the movie Ghosts of Mississippi. Better was, late than never. Yes. Which was based on the uh, based on the true story of the life and the assassination of Medgar Evers, starring Whoopi Goldberg and Alec Baldwin, directed by Rob Reiner. All right, yes, Rob Reiner, and that was one of the big problems, America. <laughs> According to Spike Lee, John Singleton, and many other famous black filmmakers. Before the movie came out, it's nice to sit and watch a live session in a thong. Nice. Oh, God. Okay. What color is it? <laughs> Better yet, request, to know. <laughs> request be brought on. I want to see it. Oh, man. Anyway, so all kind of people were talking about the fact that it wasn't going to be directed by a black director or somebody that could, I don't know, emp empathize with the Meg River story or whatever. And they thought there was going to be a lot of white, what did they call it exactly? Uh, white male bias that would be shown. Um, you know, there was a lot of anticipation for the movie. I mean, it was an important story. Medgar Evers was a very important figure in the civil rights movement. And you got any more things to say about him in general? Well, I mean, you know, everybody hears about, you know, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, both great right. men. Okay. They both did a lot to impact this, mm -hmm. this nation. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people forget about Medgar Evers and Really, there wouldn't be a Martin Luther King if there wasn't a Medgar Evers. So tell us who he was, basically. Well, Medgar Evers, Medgar Evers was one of the first true civil rights leaders of the nation. You know, he, was, he, he wasn't the guy that was, you know, in front of the mic, in front of the cameras making the speeches. He was the guy behind the scenes really pounding the, the pavement, you know, really organizing, organizing yeah, and really yeah. doing the, taking the fight where it needs to be taken to. Mm -hmm. Um so while well, there was this uh, guy by the name of Byron D. Beckwith who <laughs> felt that uh, Medgar Evers uh, needed to die. And much like the cowardice bitch that he was, he shot Medgar Evers in the back in the driveway of his own home in front of his wife and kids. Right. Well, the thing is, uh, a lot of people criticized the movie once it did come out because they were a little worried and upset about the fact that it didn't really cover Medgar Evers' accomplishments of what nice. he did. Nice. Let's pick him out of Oh, um, it didn't really cover Medgar Evers' accomplishments and things that he did. All it right. did was in the beginning show him murdered in front of his um, home, just like he said. It actually showed the gentleman, the Byron Dino Dino Beckwith. Beckwith. It actually showed him as being guilty right off the bat. And then, of course, he got away with it in a, two subsequent trials with all white juries. Mm -hmm. um, the, yeah, the best thing I could say 
best thing I could say so far about this movie is that when um, in double checking the facts, it was 90 to 95 percent actually accurate with the facts. But the problem is um, they had access to the entire family. They had the widow. They had the brother. I had all these people on the set, working on the set, helping them out, trying to keep the accuracy. And for some reason, they barely included his life and his accomplishments. So that was the big problem in the eyes of a lot of folks. Once it, Even before it was done, they said they weren't going to do it right. And after it came out, that pretty much vindicated it. They felt that it wasn't done right. It was too much court drama as opposed to Medgar Evers life and it showed right. like a white knight like uh what was it alec baldwin. alec baldwin yeah alec baldwin was basically the white knight uh making up for his guilt <laughs> basically or you know guilt and uh, racism and his uh, forefathers racism and trying to uh, bring it to justice <laughs> why you don't have a small enough lens <laughs> um right you know i looked at the movie like this i didn't look at it at i lo i thought it was a great movie it was but done I, very well. I thought it was more about a story mm -hmm. of his wife's fight to bring justice to the man who murdered his her husband more than it was about Medgar Evers himself. You know, because she carried that torch for 30 plus years and never gave up and never stopped. I agree with you 100% about the whole White Knight thing. I didn't like how they focused on what was happening to him. Mm -hmm. It was not a theatrical success. Theatrical success, excuse me. No. Uh, when it came out, it didn't even no. make half of its budget back, basically. And a lot of uh, a lot of folks really criticized the way that it was just, uh, sounds like a great film, tried Debbie Does Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Debbie Does Iowa is better, but we're still looking for Uncle Roy's Cat in Part 13. So. Romancing the Bomb. <laughs> romancing the Bomb? The Bomb. Oh, the Bomb. The bomb. I like Romancing so, the Bomb So I'm, I'm taken by the recent comments that uh maybe we should uh be doing a movie review on porn okay and we're all we're almost done with this one so we can get right into that <laughs> yeah because, yeah i don't know if we've seen the same ones though that's the first right? anyway I mean, well my question is how are we going to get the visualization to them of, of our favorite hey speaking of porn we'll come to that after this anyway okay so reiner had like I said, unlimited access to the folks, and he even got permission from the family to film the body being exhumed. So that was one of the big things, the body finding the weapon and uh, convicting the guy eventually, basically. So the, the fact is they were... <laughs> I was really looking for that video hard. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> That's fucking scary. When they dug him up, though, it looked like he had just been buried a couple days rather than yeah. 30 years, even though they dug him up 30 years later to help prove the guy actually killed him and that the bullets came from his weapon, which they did find. Yep. Um, basically, it was a well-intentioned but overall dramatically unsatisfying film. You know, there's an intriguing story to be told, but not the one that Rob Runner shoot, chose to tell. Right. Uh, I, right. I would say so. How do you feel about it? If you're going to give it a, a thumbs up or a... I'm going to I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Um, I Overall, I like the movie. Uh -huh. um, I felt... I mean, I got the message. And I agree, it wasn't the message I think the family wanted to trade. Right. Um, so overall, yeah, I give it a thumbs up. How about you? It's good. It was good. It really highlighted. Um, it's unfortunate the way, you know, the end of uh, segregation and everything like that had to be highlighted. Um, Coming from a woman who doesn't remember a fucking thing about the movie. Uh, anyway, <laughs> you're crazy. Okay. Ow. So you say thumbs up, right? Thumbs up, thumbs, thumbs up. up. Well, I say it wasn't a bad or terrible movie, but it could have been so much better. So I give it like a semi thumbs up. You know, it could have been more partial true. thumbs up. It could have been more true. Hey. Hey. Anyway, so okay. for two and a half inches. No, it's a different rating. That's right. That's porn. So speaking of porn, and this kind of goes back to the Arnold's. Speaking of porn, I get to meet. My favorite porn star of all yeah. time. Got comments. Who is it? Denise Messina. Oh, come on. Debbie had a great climax in the end. So did I. Fucking <laughs> yeah, that film had a wonderful climax. <laughs> Fucking that. Hello, Denise Julia. So anyways, <laughs> I got I got to meet uh, I my favorite actress. Your favorite Denise. porn actress, right? Porn actress, yes. Denise Messino. You know I didn't say two words. She's deep. Deep. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> I did in the bathroom and took a picture with her in her thorough. 
Just find that on Facebook. I tried to follow her in the bathroom, but they wouldn't let me. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't there. Anyway, okay, so go ahead. That's it. She didn't say anything to you? You I just saw her from afar? No, I was like as close as I can be. I just went talk to her. I'll put my arm around Chewbacca, but you won't touch her. <laughs> I was too busy hiding something. Oh. I'll give her a Is that a hard on as you're walking down the street? No. Because you're at, at the Arnold. <laughs> the Arnold. What's up? Anyway. We'll okay. give you a rising experience. <laughs> what did the Buddhist say to the hot dog vendor? What did the Buddhist say to the hot dog vendor? Make me one with everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, so how did Moses make his tea? How did Moses make his tea? He brews. The f anyway, okay. So you guys have no idea how much fucking time he spends. No, no, looking no, up no. Politically no. correct, socially non-offensive fucking <laughs> yeah. jokes. Right, right here. Dude, let me put it to you this way, brother. My pump was so big sitting next to Denise Messino, I could have taken the goddamn Arnold Classic in every event. No, with that. Yeah, for a second I thought you'd seen Uncle Roy's cabin there. Because <laughs> the pump was pretty big. The hedgehog. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the hedgehog. <laughs> What's the hedgehog? Ron, Ron Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's his favorite. He got a chubby off of Ron Jeremy as well. Especially yeah, in my ass. Yeah, he helped him, he helped him ah. shave his back. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, How do you make holy water? Ow. Boil the hell out of it. <laughs> I like that one. Come on, that's okay. Um, Sorry. What's the difference between ignorance and apathy? I don't know and I don't care. How do you know when you've been robbed by a Pollock? The garbage is gone and your cat's pregnant. Oh, your house has been. Okay, I get it. Yeah. All right. Did you hear about the Polish guy? They found sugar in his urine. He went home and took a leak in his cornflakes. <laughs> Did you hear about the other Polish guy? He locked his keys in his car. He had to get a hanger to get his family out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a pump. What the <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's an old one. Irma Randall, what's up, Irma? So if everybody doesn't know who Irma is. Irma is my ex-girlfriend. She also helps me with my travel expenses. Well, not expenses, but my travel affairs. <laughs> wow. She saves me money on my travel expenses. Hmm. She actually donated to her going to Russia. Yep. Thank you. Awkward moment. <laughs> Why did the Polish submarine sink? I'm not sure. Sure. Put it in the water. They submerged it? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> okay, David, you got to be faster with the line, bro. Come on. Your memory is shorter than your penis. That's amazing. What the f... <laughs> I just started a band called 999 Megabytes. We haven't got a gig yet. What? <laughs> Gay as fucking jokes. No, Not even. Done. That's a freaking computer joke. They oh. opened the screen door. <laughs> they opened the screen door. Oh my God! They didn't need to open the screen door; they're going right through the little holes. No, anyway, I hear you. Like the Polish joke. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a rooster or the telephone pole? A ten foot long cock. A thirty six foot cock trying to reach out and touch someone. Oh God! <laughs> trying to reach out and touch someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Check, please. Please. No. Okay. Ow. So let me ask a question. We're going to do a little survey. All right. For those people watching, do you, per, do you prefer a smoking weed on screen, getting high before we come on, and not smoking weed, or getting high before we come on and continue to smoke weed while we're on? Inquiring minds want to know. And don't get them too mad, America. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. He's yeah. holding back again. Actually, what am I mad about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what he's mad about. What am I mad about? Not sure. Let's exactly. hear it. Exactly. So let's talk about everything. My, let's, talk, <laughs> let's talk about my life in general. Let's talk about my experience at the Van Nuys flyaway. 
Oh, God. Oh, you gotta love it. Okay. All of the, the above. above. <laughs> exactly. So, here's my experience at the Van Nuys Flyaway. Okay. So, I go up. You know, I ask where I go to buy the tickets because I've never used it before because, you know, normally I drive. Smoke whenever you want. Awesome. I'm okay, good with whatever. whatever. All right. Okay, so who's good with smoking with us before, during, and after? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> we walk up, and we go to buy a ticket. Well, I've never used it before, but there's a sign there that says, your bag must not be over 50 pounds. Okay, well, we look around, there's no scale. So I guess they're just guessing. Get out to the loading area, they measure my bag, it's fucking 63, 65 pounds. A lot Whatever. Of in there, I'm sure. So they tell us they won't, you know, but keep in mind, I bought my ticket already. So they tell us they won't put my bag on the bus unless I unpack the 15 pounds put in your pockets no they gave me bags no i heard you told me that i could that i could put all my shit in wow so i'm like well just refund my money and i'll get an uber well there's no refunds so they take your fucking money and there's no refunds so the guys outside were being cool then i go inside to talk to the supervisor who's a fucking cunt and I don't care if that word offends you, because there's no other word that can be describing this person. She's a fucking cunt, okay? And I and I I put an exclamation point on cunt. Um. Anyways, I go up. I thought I was already required to smoke during the show. Michael Nance has it. Michael Nance, you are now responsible for writing the rules of the show. So I go in and I talk to the supervisor, this cunt of a supervisor. I go, how are you going to take my money? Ty, what's up, brother? I got to meet Ty at the fucking Arnold, too. Got to sit down. Guys, this fucking kid is amazing. And I say kid because he's only 22 years old. Right? Anyways, back to the cunt at the fucking flyaway. This is your Madden America moment. So I asked for my fucking money back. This fucking bitch, okay, tells me she's sick of fucking working and thinking all us white motherfuckers, and she said motherfuckers. Thank you, Ty. <laughs> it was a pleasure finally you meeting you both in autumn. You're awesome. And we gave away all the samples, Ty. Yep. Your chalk's, um, your chalk's out there, brother. Mm -hmm. um, anyways. Basically, she said, called me white privileged motherfucker. <laughs> well, here comes the Mad in America moment. Uh-oh. <laughs> Big country got a little man. And I used some adjectives that I may not have should have used in the public of children. Well, then we get Barney fight. Who gives a fuck about unseen notifications <laughs> on fucking Instagram? <laughs> then you got the rental cops, right? One dude looked like he was going to fucking fall over and die just walking off the fucking podium where his fat ass was sitting. The other fucking Barney Fife motherfucker comes up. <laughs> I don't even have my phone recording. Just stare at the fuck there. You're being recorded. And I'm not recording it. So this other motherfucker, I'm sitting outside. I'm waiting for my fucking Uber. This other motherfucker comes out. Starts talking shit, and he pops his fucking safety strap on his pistol. So I put my hand down, like, in my fucking hoodie pocket. I said, you think I'm afraid of your gun, motherfucker? I got one, too. See who can draw first. Next thing you know, holy shit, he's got a gun. Fucking blah, 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 blah. Uber driver comes up. Get in the fucking car. Uber driver doesn't know what to do. So I just drive, motherfucker. Just drive. So that's your mad in America moment. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Do I look mad? That's actually fucking funny. No, really. I should have recorded it. You look that mad to me. It's because I'm high. And how can you be mad and high at the same time? <laughs> You've accomplished it so often. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh, God. Trying to turn over a new leaf. Yeah. A, a pot leaf, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pot leaf. But anyway, keep it going, dude. Keep it going. Okay, where's Autumn's 15 minutes of fame? Right now. Ta da. Scoot up. Autumn has something to tell y'all. Oh. She has a vagina. I would hope so. Vagina monologues. Because if not, then I'm not sure. Maybe gender X, gender neutral. What are so, you calling it? So, now? Oh, not she left more than a bag. And oh, I want to say something before Autumn starts talking. So <laughs> I want to say something before Autumn starts talking. Yeah. Saturday night, as we were out enjoying our evening at the Hyatt, Autumn proclaims that she can pick the perfect name for a man's just by seeing. Just by seeing the man or the penis? The penis. Does not have to see the man. Jess has to see the penis. So we went through the nearest glory hole. <laughs> yeah, we went at the Hyatt. That's, that's Jim. That's Sam. That's, oh, sorry. In the conference room. Oh. Here. Okay. Well, anyway, while Ray's doing this, okay. I get no respect at all, you know. As a child, I was breastfed by my father. My mother said she liked me as a friend, you know. My mother, I was so ugly as a child, my mother fed me with a slingshot. We were so poor, if I hadn't been born a boy, I'd have nothing to play with whatsoever. <laughs> okay, back to Otto's right. moment. Go ahead, Otto's moment. Uh. So, good experience. Now, at the Arnold's. Yeah, we already talked about the Arnold's. We've talked about the Arnold's. What's coming up and what are we doing? We're still going to the Worlds and we're, we're getting ready excited. To, uh, getting ready to train. Um, Great training. We've been training our butt off, I thought. Well, training for the Arnolds, so it gets very specific. It's I'm going to go arm wrestling. Okay, tell us um, about it. How is it different? So, we take a couple of days off when my fingers, you know, relax. I feel great, but I do know and I have learned in you know, the short time I've been in the sport that uh, even though you feel great, your fingers and other things will be fatigued. Um, so, you have to give it a rest after something like this. I'll give it a couple of days, and uh, my next uh, training session will be geared towards, obviously, Worlds. Um, I do plan on going to Ricardo Magni's uh, basically precursor warm-up event in April, beginning of April. Um, do we know what that's called or where that's going to be? Or? That's going to be, I believe that's in Newberry Park, right? Do you have any codes? No, Santa Cruz. Santa, Santa Cruz. No. No. Yeah, Oats. Yeah. Oats. Yeah, Oats. It'll be so in Newbury Park cool. at uh, the training hall. Right. Um, and it's going to obviously highlight the uh, six disciplines that I'm going to have to do, which is going to be the uh, Saxon Bar, the Axle, the Rolling Thunder, the COC, um, the and, Excalibur, yeah. and the Hub Lift. You talked last time with the COC uh, Captains of Crush? Or captains yes. of Crush, oh, yeah. yes. Okay. The COC Sorry. is yeah. uh, short for the Captains of Crush. Mm -hmm. um, it's a gripper. And not only do you have to squeeze the gripper, but you have to hold a uh, silver bullet, which is this big, and a five kilogram disc, which is big around as a large pie pan. And the disc is a flat piece of metal and weighs approximately five kilograms. And it's for time. And uh, But at Worlds, you have to hold the 0 0.5. You can't go any lower than that. Um, you can go higher, but 0 0.5. So I need to really work on my grip because I've been experiencing a lot of fatigue. Um, afterwards, I just can't get my hand to close anything um, bigger than the trainer right now because unfortunately the COC is always the last discipline and it's always after you know a couple of heavy disciplines so it makes it really difficult for me so I just got to really train on that um, I've never really used the you know, hub lift I kind of played around with it a couple of weeks ago in the gym and I got 33.6 uh, pounds off the floor um, so I'm going to play out, play with that some more after looking at the rankings. I think I get my numbers up a little bit more and I'll hopefully do really well in that lift. Um, obviously work on the Excalibur because that's not really a lift that's familiar with me, but, um, what was I able to get with that playing around with that? We only went up to like 118 pounds on that. And, and, so, and she ripped that up pretty easy. We're not looking at comments. Paul Douglas Passmore in the house. What? Paul's watching my live feed. I'm on it. 
No, seriously. What's up, Nicole? Oh, speaking. Speaking, I got Ike Ford and Paul Douglas Passmore. Listen, guys, Georgie presents Lifting for Autism. We are looking for super matches. We've got Paul Douglas Passmore at super heavyweight. Hang on. i got to find the uh, list here. All right, so we got Paul Passmore at super heavyweight. Tim McPherson at 242. Josh Elton at 220. And David Hobbs at 198 pounds. We need some opponents. Who wants to go to Arkansas and match up against these guys? It's for charity. There's no money. But I decided you guys should get something. So the winner of each match will have a custom championship belt to take home. David, where do you go to do that or get that done? Infrared light therapy. Oh, you can get, we can get that done at um, men cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. Okay, sure. well, then I'll give it a shot. What's the uh, recommended uh, time frame to do it in? Um, Alexander you know? Armour. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Time for me to fucking brag. That's a good idea. Thank you, David. Okay. So I posted a video. I posted a, fit, a photo of this guy. His name is Alexander Armour. We call him, affectionately, we call him Tank. He is fucking amazing. He's a combat vet. Thank you for your service. Yep. Thank you, sir. You but most of well. all, he is one strong motherfucker. Okay. I want to see a thumbs up. Honest thumbs up. Thank you, Dan. How many people watching can deadlift 700 pounds? Thumbs up if you can deadlift 700 pounds. Be honest. No thumbs up. Okay, that's good. That means you know how fucking heavy that weight is. Just you and me. Our friends. Mm -hmm. Cut. Oh, we got a couple thumbs up. Who thumbed up? Okay, now we got a bunch of people lying. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. Anyways, Alexander Armour is tank. the tank is a disabled veteran. Comment. Okay, he is paralyzed. He is in a wheelchair, um, but he competes in the assisted para strongman. This guy was at my booth. Yes, you, Alexander. Yes, you, Alexander, you fucking homo. <laughs> um, he was over at the booth, and when people were talking shit oh, about... Ike said David can lift, deadlift over seven. Okay, seven. cool. Nice. What's up, Lenny? Um, anyways, he, this guy was over at... The, Alexander was over at my booth. First time we've met, we built a relationship online. Um, and then we met at the Arnold. So... While he's over there, people are trying to lift the weight, and they couldn't. <laughs> this guy, we stacked chairs, and we assisted him into the into the stacked chairs. And as hard as it was, he got the weight. He got the two fifty four. Now that's impressive. What was even more impressive is to watch him deadlift seven hundred pounds from the seated position. Just keep in mind, he's in a wheelchair. So they had to put him in a special chair, brace him in, and then he picks the weight, weight up, reaches down, and picks the weight up. Um, so, anyways, fucking wow. Okay? Just wow. Now, if that wasn't impressive enough, he's going to Scotland to attempt to pick up the um, Denny, Stones. Denny Stones. That's amazing. And he's now a Country Crush sponsored athlete. Then we, I got the amazing honor to watch only the second human being to pick up 500 kilograms. And no, it wasn't fucking Eddie Hall. We all know Eddie Hall can do it. No, I don't know his name, but he was, he's a para guy. He's in a, he was in a wheelchair. Fucking 1,105 pounds this man picked up. That's awesome, Lenny. I'll definitely look those up on YouTube. 
Jones. Right? Um, I mean, seeing Thor, seeing Shaw, seeing all those guys, by the way, congratulations, Martins Lissies. Yeah, awesome. Good job on you. Um, second. Second. Good job. Anyways, win. Um, just impressive. Follow Alexander on Facebook. Go find him on Instagram. He's a hell of a fucking guy. If you're down, he'll motivate you, man. I tell you, I, I just, I, I've never sat in one place so long, so long in just amazement at what I saw. You know, um, just amazing. You got anything else you want to share? Um, no, I know. <clears throat> Keep an eye out for me on, on uh, my videos and my training. And like I said, I'm really going to try what uh, David said with the uh, light therapy and see if that helps my grip. Um, the uncooked rice in the microwave. Um, you see how that works, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna really. Uh, you hit 501 kilograms. Lifting history, LOL. Martin Ty is his name. What's up, numb nuts? A cock. Come on down, tank, and you'll get to 900. Awesome. That's great, David. So, so, yep, just going to focus on... So, April 6th is your next event. Yep. It's the, world's be, uh, is in then May. the World's is in May. Yep. And then after that, we'll see. So, again, guys, um, we're still raising money for this trip. Every little bit helps. You can go to countrycrush.info at gmail.com is our PayPal address, and you can PayPal our money that way. Um, Please share with everybody. I can I can load up the link later. Thank you, John. <laughs> Your voice is sounding better. Yeah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, right. Far sure, better than yesterday. Sure, fucking fault. Our voice sounds bad. Um. Oh shit. Fuck. Double nibble two. Thing the fuck screw. So, I got these window sample decals. Right here. If you want one, I got, I don't know, I got like 50 of them. Whatever. You want to represent, and you want to put these on your window, just shoot me a message with your address, and I'll throw one in an envelope for you, and uh, you can have it on your car or whatever. Um, not much other than that. Uh, there's going to be some surprises coming up for the beautiful disaster, but we'll release those as we get closer. Um, your voice is sounding better. Yes, I am a cock Ray, but I love What's you up, anyway. Christina? Okay, so what uh, movie are we gonna review for next time? Oh, it's March. Yeah. St. Patrick's Day. So I think the first movie should be- Boondock Saints! Yep. American History X. It'd be Boondock Saints. <laughs> I would say let's lift over it, but she'd beat me. I say let's smoke over it, but he'd beat me. I say let's arm wrestle, but they both beat me. All right. How about we watch a documentary on House of Hen? I wish. There isn't one, is there? All right, guys. How about this? Toss one in my box. Alexander, you said you wouldn't ask anybody to do that again. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, oh, Boondock God. Saints. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking See? about. All right, so we got one vote for Boondock Saints. How about this? Leprechaun Part Three. Fuck it, David. Is that the one with the fucking? John, that's a good idea. I like your thinking. If you want to donate, feel free. Okay. Yeah. I'm. Wow. That's pretty cool. Um. He was saying that for three. I like the, the games, games of New, New York. York. That's the shit. Okay, games of New York. They got metal arm. All right, let's write these down. All right, Boo Don't Say this is going to be one of them. Games of New York. I'm going to write them down. Leprechaun Part 3. Medal of Honor, Leprechaun Part 3. 
Classic. Transformation Challenge movie. Yep. Cool. So we will do Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints will be for Wednesday's movie review. And then we'll do Gangs of New York on Friday show. What are we doing? Boondock right. Saints 2. <laughs> All Saints Day. Boondock uh, 1 and 2. Yep. Yeah. 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 We'll, do, uh, we'll do a special edition of Mad in America. We'll do Boondock Saints on St. Patty's Day. So he's putting it off, America. That's what I get mad at, America, <laughs> damn it. Anyway, so what movie are we watching besides American History X? We're not watching American History X. Yeah, but what movie are we watching first, then, if we're, if we're putting it off? Saints. Part one. Yeah, but when's St. Patty's Day? It's a few weeks off. And that's when we'll watch part two. Oh, all right. Now I'm happy, America. Cuck-comment. All right. Get a comment. Comment. <laughs> oh, that's something else I wanted to talk to Miss Autumn about. Uncle Roy's cat. Jeez. Um, if we had a copy of that, if I I get, I'd be sending it to everybody I could. <laughs> if we want to get kicked off Facebook, I would. I'd use Autumn and you know what? Ask Joe Patero. <laughs> He's seen Uncle Roy's Cavern, 2019. Oh my! I was gonna God. say he 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 acted out Ro- Uncle Roy's Cavern. <laughs> <laughs> The remix. <laughs> the Glory old teams, part six. <laughs> we only have part seven and twelve on DVD. We have sticky Asians. <laughs> I just want porn up. Right, but I'm talking about full length ones. We're not talking about three to five minute <laughs> I don't need one. All I need is a scene, ladies and gentlemen. I don't need more than three and five minutes. <laughs> I don't want to sit there and make love to myself. I just want to get done. So then, much like sex. So then, according to David Thornton, you should go on uh, X, X videos or whatever. yeah, Pornhub and look for Glory. Go Peace on Chatterbait. Oh boy, barely legal part twelve. But guys, check oh. it out. Watch the movies. What the? What the I know you're not going to, but I I want you guys to message us. Have we all seen? Uh, and tell us what strand of marijuana. You should smoke on Wednesday's show. We'll do a review on that bud. Okay. A review on the bud? Well, yeah, they'll be able to see by our faces. Okay, well, now I totally understand how batteries feel. I often don't get included with everything either. Uh, Bud Pirates are the... Bud Pirates are the... Crystal did a great job of drinking. That oh. beer out of Autumn's yeah. shirt on Saturday night at the Arnold. Yes, Crystal did. Oh, oh boy, Ali, what? McSqueal. McSqueal, fucking Alexander. <laughs> McSqueal. Oh, wait, wait a minute, Mr. Postman. How many of you guys are planning on attending? Georgie presents Lifting for Autism. We let's, smoked Gorilla Glue last week. Let's get serious for a moment. How many people are planning on attending my son's event? I have a very specific question because Alexander knows what I'm going to say because he's helping me set ooh, it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry. I'll be there. <laughs> new comment. LOL, the new set of review that bud. LOL, Forrest. Um, what the fuck, David? He's a library. He's I a just. Library. What about saving Ryan's privates? Love saving. He put that up already. He put, he put that up already earlier. Saving, what saving Ryan's privates? Saving Ryan's privates. All right, <laughs> I like right. that one better. Seriously, <laughs> shut up. No, fucker. Seriously. All right. Off so right for... I had the opportunity to speak to. If you are into strength sports at all then you know the person I'm talking about. He's only a four-time world's strongest man named Magnus or Magnuson. Bentonville, Arkansas, David. Okay. Well, I'm working on something, but it's going to depend on what you guys say. Who would pay $50 to attend a two-hour seminar held by Magnus Drew Magnuson on the tactics and techniques in planning to compete as a world's strongest man. 
if you guys would be interested in paying $50 to sit down and listen to one of the greatest all-time athletes and strongman, let me start seeing hearts pop up. Nope, no hearts, no $50. All right, that makes that easy. Because, anyways, I'm bringing them. I don't give a fuck if you guys like it or not. <laughs> First in line, nice, David. That's so, yeah. I'm working on a deal with him. I got a mad face. I don't know. Shocked face. Okay. Wow. cried. Who the fuck's mad? Because we're not talking about dick and cock and cunt. I'm not a strong man, but I can do it. Debbie does Dallas is horrible, man. It's one of the worst. Another mad face. Could have made it better on our video Another camera or our face. phone. So Another check it out. Face. Another mad face. If this is something you guys are going to want to do. What, point of view? No. Oh. Then I will talk to Magnus's manager more about confirming this and yes. setting up a date to have Magnus come out. Alexander awesome. uh, Armor is going to help with this because um, he's wanting to uh, hook me up with his manager. So it'll be $50 a ticket. It'll be for a two hour seminar. Um, another comment. And if I could get off work, I would pay for it. Uh, 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 uh. Little Oral Annie. God damn. Uh, 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 uh. All right, trivia question. Oh, boy. Not even a trivia question. Yeah. That's the baby. How many different ethnicities in Uncle Roy's cabin? <laughs> Anybody who gets this right, hey. No, anyway. Okay. Long before you all. Huh, that's weird. Not really. We just don't read them right away. Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. no lag. We're just hot. You are seeing them way before us because you're staring at the screen and then we're like, oh, hey, what's up? I don't know. Okay. So, we got some more exciting news, guys. Uh oh. This show is now going to be on. The MSTV platform on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. I've also been asked to write an article in each issue of Muscle Sports Mag. They want me to write articles about things that I love. To uh, what? To us and Really? He wants you to write an article about belching and farting? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, anyways, um, I'm going to be writing an article for Muscle Sport Magazine, and I've decided on my first person because I cannot think of anybody who has inspired me more to get off my ass and stop feeling sorry for myself and using my injuries and using everything wrong with me as an excuse to sit around and do nothing. So my first article is going to be on Alexander Armour. To watch this man do the feats of strength that he's done, it was awestruck. I mean, it, it, <laughs> Tank has to be your first article number of ethnicities in the cat. Oh, two. <laughs> uh, Ray Mosley, I, I can't agree more with you. He's going to be my first article. Um, Alexander, I'm, I'm going to need you to uh, either text message me or message me here your email so Chris and I can formulate um, the questions that we want to ask. Um, First thing you can do when you email me is give me some backstory on you. I want to know about your military service. I want to know how you got hurt. Um, I want to know about your neck surgery. That's the other thing. Not only did he just pick up 700 pounds, he did it 10 weeks post neck surgery. They told him he would never come back. 
His sponsors dropped him. They're fucking stupid. Now they're going to be regretting it. Because I picked him up, and I'm going to do as much as I can for this man. This is a fucking man with the heart of a lion. He's a true champ. Okay? I want all you guys who think you're strong to find some place you can sit down and try more fucking angry faces. <laughs> try to sit down to and no. um, pick up 700 pounds. Mm -hmm. Awesome. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna set, you know, at the way for a lot of different athletes that were too scared or too nervous to come out and just do what they're really good at doing, you know, irregardless of, you know, the wheelchair or maybe missing a leg, because at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. David, you know? David Thornton, brother, you're an engineer, and this is where you're going to come into play. Because not only is Alexander Armour a para strongman, but he also wants to be able to compete in the Country Crush deadlift challenges. And between myself, Ray Mosley, and him, we came up with some pretty good ideas of how to make this happen. And miraculously enough, you're all around the same area. <laughs> Okay. Making me blush over here. So we need to design a formulation of events that will allow the country crush handles to be used. We came up with one, which was a Hercules hold. Um, we would have to design a frame that would allow the wheelchairs to lock in and that where we could adjust the Raptor handles to fit the athlete, depending on how tall they were and whatnot. Um, another one that we have to design and, and get going, a stool. Thank you, David. You got to love my beard, man. Don't talk shit about my beard. How did I come up? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have to design and formulate the deadlift stool that they use for their deadlifts, but we're going to have to make it in such a way that it's a cable machine versus having to lift plates, kind of like a kind of like a belt squat machine. A um, lot of ideas. Uh, Alexander got very excited when I brought up the fact of. The Hercules hold. Um, so the four of us need to correlate a time where we can all meet, well, talk, I should say, and uh, get this going. Is there any final thoughts from Big Chris? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is for all you Trump lovers out there. You know who you are. <laughs> Here's his gay in America moment. No, this is freaking real, man. Trump is nothing like Hitler because Trump could never write a book. Seriously. Anyway, okay. And if that was gay, then his boy is queer as hell. My okay. boy. Yeah. Trump, he's your boy. Not if Bernie gets in. Okay, he's your homie. Okay. Anyway. All right, so what's your final... Uh, your final thought? Your what's your beautiful disaster your moment from hell? Uplifting thing you can say. Let's keep pushing. You know? Even if you don't feel like, you know, doing it, you just gotta keep pushing because all we can do. That brings up another joke, sadly. Oh shit! <laughs> it's love is like a fart. If you force it, it's probably shit. <laughs> she said, "Keep pushing." So, anyway, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but she says that every time. You know why? Because she doesn't quit. That's why, America. Okay, but anyway, don't forget the movie, which I already forgot. Oh, Boondocks, Boondocks Saints, Saints number one. one. Number one. All right, and we'll go from there. I can do that. Alexander Armour blushing. <laughs> yeah, if he's blushing, I got a 12-inch cock. Anybody who saw the video knows that's a lie. Oh, Alexander. <laughs> Apparently, I Ford's really excited to see it. Love that NWA shirt. 
Ah, oh, fuck, don't tell him that shit. Nobody can comment on his fucking wardrobe. Fuck off. Fucking 50 year old man wearing shit from the fucking 70s. 70s? What is he, high? Yes. 88. Straight out of Compton, baby. He's crazy. Okay. Well, not only that, David, we designed this. We need a patent it and everything else. Hold on. Wait a minute. What? Oh, fuck. I'm having to get tell. No idea. Come here. Let me see this. Get up here. No, leave my foot alone. Chris, move for a second. Okay, I'm out. Oh, God. Is that, the, is that a pterodactyl foot? Or is what? that the <laughs> ugliest fucking foot you've ever seen? Look at this. Apparently, Crystal Wildfire got a, a photo sent to her of a guy's cock in a shoe, <laughs> which was a size 8. So a little shorter than her foot. It's a big <laughs> fucking foot. And you thought Bigfoot was extinct. Look at that fucking thing. Look at it. It just flops. Look at it. Well, He's trying to pull it right out of her seat. That's an ugly. And why did this come up, America? I'm not sure. Because I looked at it. NWA, no white ass. No white ass. No whites allowed. No whites allowed. Good. Anyway. I got a heater in my truck. That's I don't right. Get a fuck. 90s, Ray, not and 70s. The That's right. Put him straight, man. He has no idea he's lost in America. Known this man since 1991, and every day we talk about it, it changes. So why don't you just drop one, one crazy story? One crazy story. Yeah, one titty twisting story. You, didn't we already tell the titty twisting story? I don't think so. We never told the titty twisting story. So, real quick. Have you guys heard the titty twisting story? No, no, I didn't think so. Um, so no, I'm not going to tell that story. Oh man, why not? That was he all. It was his hulked out moment. So you can impress uh, Alexander Armour on that at that point. Well, I'll tell you what. You tell the story then, because you always interrupt me. Okay. No, Ray. My wife has uglier feet, brother. She has claw hooks. For wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, this, this is the first. Oh, this is stopping the, Tom Connors. <laughs> this is the first time he met. <laughs> hey, hey, forty below and over okay, the fuck. Okay, 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 so anyway, the titty twisting story. Um, <laughs> we were younger and we would drink every freaking night, especially in the nineties when we first yes. met, like ninety-one through ninety-nine, I believe. All the nineties was a drunken haze, and. Um, you know, one time we were extremely drunk, and I was about to sneak him into my parents' home and take him upstairs, and I'm like, oh, my God, when my mother sees him in the morning, she freaks out. She's like, you got to tell me he's in the house. I'm like, I hear you. So we didn't tell him he's in the house, so we went to stay at Motel 6. We drove down to Roxford, to Motel 6, Silmar, and I realized I didn't have cash, and they don't take my debit card. I remember that from last time. So we start driving down the street. That was with the hooker. Yeah. Oh, Sure. And then we're going down the street, and Brilliance over here decides, you know what? He's not drunk and high enough. I think maybe I'll distract him while he's driving and worried about getting pulled over with a titty twist. I'm sure that'll be really positive. And so anyway, he reaches over, twists the shit out of my tit. I thought some toe sucking was about to happen. No, thank God, dude. No, no. But anyway, he, tw he twists my tit. And not to be outdone, my drunk ass takes both hands off the wheel, twists both of his tits as my freaking truck veers off the side of the road, across a per people's lawn, through a block wall, and almost into their freaking living room. And the truck ends up on the side, on the passenger side. And Ray hops right out. He climbs right up. Hey, get out. I'm like, I can't get out. So Ray, Mr. Freaking Hope, right here, puts the entire truck, <laughs> he puts the truck back on its four wheels because it was up on the side. And then he said, okay, get out now. I can't get out. My door is caved in. So he comes over and he puts his hands in there where the window is, the window jam or the door jam, and he bends it down. He bends it halfway down. He's like, okay, get out now. I'm like, I'm too big. I can't get out that little plate, you know, space. So he rips off the door. Freaking Hope is over here. <laughs> and he freaking rips off the door. And I get out. And the people are like, oh, my God, are you people, are you okay? Oh, my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, but my dad's going to kill me. And he's like, oh, no, he'll be happy that you know, your truck is, you know, that he doesn't care about the truck. It can be replaced, but he'll be happy that you guys are okay. I'm like, you don't know my dad, apparently. 
Um, so we sat there, all you know, with my hand, my head in my hands, and I'm all upset because my truck is totaled. And these people, we just almost went into their living room and across their house. And uh, there come the cops. <laughs> and there's some, you know, there's some cops, and they're like, "Okay, who's driving here? Who's driving?" And Rafe's like, has a hernia or something. It sure seems like he did because he's bent over and he's like, "I'm ready to die." So I put my arm around him, and I'm like, "Ray." driving so i said tell him you were driving he's like i'm driving i was driving so they take ray <laughs> they take ray away basically and i told ray before that i'm like no matter what happens because this is where the funniest part comes in at least for me no matter what happens ray don't tell my dad i was driving tell him you were driving because if i get in another accident and he's gonna be pissed okay okay no matter what he says don't tell him that i was driving tell him you were driving okay so my dad comes pick me up in the truck. They take him to the emergency room. He complains about hernia, he complains about different uh, you know, hurts and problems and illnesses. So they take forever to drug test him and alcohol test him. Excuse me, and it turns out that he's not drunk anymore by that time. So they don't charge him with it. My dad goes to pick him up from the hospital by himself, leaves me at the house. And he's like, so Ray, tell me who was driving? Well, Mr. Demos, I was driving. Don't fucking lie to me, Ray! You were the good one! I, I told you, you were the only friend that I liked! So, so that, and, for, you know, and, and Ray keeps telling me now, yeah, thanks, your dad loved me, and from that day he hated No, he didn't hate him, he still liked him. I, my other friends were really fucked up, okay? Use wing nuts to adjust them quickly, metal platform with a sliding... Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. He's like, hey, screw that fucking story. Okay. I, <laughs> I hear you. But anyway, to make a long story short, this man twisted my titties. I totaled my freaking car. I had to tell my dad the truth. Everybody's like, well, why did you tell him not to tell your dad the truth? Well, my dad was a very persuasive man, okay? He was freaking huge. And, um, you know, you had to pick and choose when you're going to lie to him. And I lied to him, sadly, almost every goddamn day. So I had to pick and choose which lies that, you know, when he found out I wouldn't die, that type of thing. So. Um, you know, sadly, my dad's no longer around, so we, you know, but the fact is, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, so anyway, sorry. I'm sorry for telling the truth, Ray. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're the good one! <laughs> now, keep in mind, I said this before, I never smoked weed till I met him. See, I was the good one. No, he, he just admitted it. No, no, no. My dad thought he was the good one because he put on a hell of a show. He should have been an actor, okay? I'll tell you what, America... Give us some thumbs up if you think this man shouldn't have his own reality show. It should be called Life with the Cody's. Okay? And yeah, I'll be running in and out because I'm there, but it will be Life with the Cody's. And most people will be like, oh, my God, that's scripted. Look how scripted. That's so fake. Nobody's like that. Yeah, they are. They really are. And that's the crazy part, okay? But anyway, we'll leave it at that. We'll see you. <laughs> See you real soon. What's so crazy about it? What's so crazy about the life with the Cody's? Hmm. I'm not sure if it's, you know, being awoken at 6.30 with... Where the fuck are my keys? God damn it! Where are my fucking keys? Or, you know, God damn it! Trying to do something with the household, work here, make some money, and no one's taking care of my children. And I'm like... Everybody's gone and I'm sleeping. Not anymore. You know, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's some stuff happening, man. I mean, I, I'm not going to get too into it right now because that's a whole nother. TV <laughs> Twisters can total a truck at any time. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> Especially when I'm not to be outdone. He titty twisted one tit, so I had to titty twist both tits. I mean, if he had if he had a third nipple, I would have hooked him up. So what would you have done if I would have done both your titties at one time? Probably took my hands off immediately and freaking pulled your beard or slapped your freaking head or something. Oh, you mean like you did when you got me to fall my ring so you could go back and gamble? Hmm. <laughs> do we really have to get into that story right now? Do you want to get into that story? Tune in Wednesday. Okay. Peace. Take care. <laughs> oh.